Hello and welcome to SAP Learning Academy and in this video today I will be showing you about the top 25 questions for SAP HANA interview or SAP BI interview. If you are planning for an interview in the near future or you have been preparing, I believe these top 25 questions can give you a lot of information so that you can have a uh, broad picture of what kind of questions you can be asked and how you are going to answer those and let me tell you that this top 25 questions has been collected by various interviewers so that you can have a uh, broad picture that what the overall area that HANA can cover so let me start with the questions so uh, in this slide I have put 10 questions and I will be going through each question and I will be telling you just brief uh, overview what kind of answers you are going to tell so as usual uh, with starting with the first question that introduce yourself so here you need to you need to focus on your skills mainly so what skills uh, you have and how many years you have worked on and coming to the next question composite provider what is this and what advantages do you have so this question come from the SAP HANA so here you need to show that uh, what advantages you have uh, than the multi provider or info site because in earlier version we had used uh, multi provider or info site uh, for for the reporting purposes so now we are using the composite provider so we need to explain so all these things and now we are going to the third question info site so same uh, it is like uh, old bi version info site so what the uses for info site mainly we use for reporting purposes in join so join it, it joins two table or multiple tables and coming to the fourth question what is transient provider so also uh, it comes from the uh, sap hana also uh, also this provider has been used in old version as well and coming to the fifth question uh, any development scenario you have worked on any calculation views so here you have been directly asked for calculation view so have you worked on calculation view or related you know information so here you need to explain that uh, if you have worked on any calculation view with an example and coming to the sixth question can analytic view be content measures or can measures be aggregated in analytic view so so uh, there are three kinds of view attribute view analytic view and calculation view so here the question is asked in analytic view so not in attribute or calculation view so so in analytic view can measures be contained yes the question is yes we can we can put measures in analytic view and also uh, it can be aggregated and next question how can you import any uh, developed object from the development to production so here you need to tell that how can you import suppose you have done some development in your development box so how can you import that so if you talk about the uh, sap hana box then you have a t code called uh, called scts underscore hta so using this T code, you can transport your HANA object from your development box, then to quality, and then to production. So by that you can import. So you need to explain so how you are using in your project. So those things. Now coming to the eighth question, what more have you worked in your project for performance improvement? Yeah, that's a very vital question. That what work have you done in your project? For performance improvement means suppose you had some uh, some monitoring or some rigorous work that you have been doing for uh, several days or months and that would take a lot of uh, that lot of um, uh, man work or hours to do so how did you uh, do the work to increase the performance so that's the question and next comes the ninth question have you worked on BODS so that's very uh, this is a different part uh, uh, but it, it must be integrated in SAP BI because SAP uh, BODS is also used in SAP BI for uh, data uh, integration and 10th ODQ mode transport data so it comes from the SAP HANA so uh, here we need to explain about the ODQ mode 
So it is a new way of transferring data from ECC, means uh, from the source system to the uh, BI system. So now we'll be going to the next slide. So here I have put the next 10 questions. Here the first question is difference between LSA and LSA++ structure. So it's a very important and very well-known question. So why, how need to tell that? You need to always give a, an example uh, from SAP HANA and, uh, and old BW system. Here you need to must, you must focus on the persistent layers that, that has been reduced in LSA++ structure. That's the main thing. And now is semantic group and its use. So semantic group is used in the uh, in the DTP load. So if you if you are familiar with the DTP load in SAP BI, so you would have the option semantic group. So those things you need to explain. And obviously you'll be asked for SQL knowledge. My third question. So they can tell you any example of uh, SQL script or if you have knowledge on SQL or if you have any certification that's the question number 14 so if you have any certification on SQL or HANA certification so it's going to be very good uh, so that they are going to like you coming to the uh, fifth, uh, 15 question is coming from the BODS so they can ask you question like so what are the different repository what is local repository or central repository so so those are uh, kind of very basic questions from BODS and question number 16 that is the open ODS view in detail because we need to read a lot on this open ODS view because this is going to be very vital uh, part by which you can transfer suppose you are creating a calculation view and how can you transfer the data into BW so open ODS view is the main area by which you can uh, we can bypass the data. You can actually paste the data from calculation view to BW. And question number 17, that is graphical view versus uh, script-based calculation view. And uh, you have seen that there are two ways that we can uh, create the view. That is, one is the graphical view and next is the script-based. So you need to tell what is the differences and what is uh, if there's any benefit so I can tell you that there are benefit in graphical view because it's easier to implement and the SAP recommends that we should use graphical view because it gives you much faster results but obviously the script is always good because here you have a lot of ways to uh, do manipulation on data because what you cannot do in graphical view suppose if you want to do some complex logic implementation or uh, somewhere you want to use the loop so you want to read multiple tables so definitely you're, you're, you need to use the script and now uh, we are coming to the next question that is do you have knowledge on ABAP so that's a very very important question because in old BI we have been using ABAP so until SAP HANA comes in market so we have been mostly focusing on SQL and SQL script but still we need to use ABAP in future so they will be asking on question they like this so you need to have a knowledge like so have you made any program or have you made any function module or have you used any function module in your project so those type of questions you will be asked so coming to the 19 questions so where do you write logic for transformation it means uh, they are just talking about the various uh, uh, logics like start routine end routine and fill routine and those or maybe the uh, the uh, ABAP managed uh, transformation the AMDP so those questions you can be asked in here and 20th question is what types of works do you do in your company so if you are an experienced employee and you went for an interview to some other company so then you will be asked like that so what kind of work you do in company so it can be asked in the introduction as well so coming to the my my last slide of the question. So uh, the question is use or difficulty of ODQ uh, ODQ mon ODP method. So here again, so you will be asked question like if there is any benefit or any uh, there is uh, difficulty in that. 
so i believe it's a good way because earlier we had the uh, data source rs7 in uh, source side ecc so now we are we are changing to the odp method so here the basic functionality will be same but only just we are changing the way we are extracting the data so those things you need to explain here and now uh, coming to the 22 question chain log table so and what are the different images available in chain log that's a very very vital question asked in sap bi you need to know that what is the chain log table and let me tell you that there are three tables in standard dso or adso one is new table then active table and chain log table so chain log table uh, represents all the all the data that has been changed so it will be saved there and what are the different images so there are different images like uh, like new images or after image before image so and uh, the uh, the record mode r reversal so those things are there and i have put the last three questions it is regarding the hr questions so i have i have in the in my last all the questions i have discussed about the technical questions that you've been asking but now i will be telling you about the the hr questions so if you're an experienced person and you going for so this is only for the experienced persons so you'll be asked like why you want to leave the company why you want to leave your previous company so you need to have a very good example so that you can satisfy your hr and next is the negotiation on salary definitely the the interviewer will ask you so on salary so you need to have a plan that how much salary uh, you want or it will be and obviously uh, in the case of salary i have experienced that that it will be negotiable so last is a talk on notice period so obviously uh, the company will be asking you about your notice period so how fast or how early or how late can you join in the company so you need to talk about the notice period so in my all the that's all about this top 25 questions i believe you have liked it and here i have actually told about the all type of questions whether it's a technical whether it's non-technical and also the hr questions i believe it's going to help you a lot in your coming interview and uh, thanks for watching and please visit our channel sap learning academy for more video on this and uh, like and subscribe for early notification Thank you. Thank you for watching the video.